I'm with Tom Siebert from Ariel. They make these incredible high performance sports cars. We're up here at the factory and I thought this would be a great opportunity to have a quick look around the factory. They've got a museum here as well and learn a bit more about these exciting cars. Nice to meet you, Tom. Nice to meet you too. Where should we start? Museum? Yeah, let's go into the museum and have a look. Perfect. Cool, so Ariel is a manufacturer um, started in 1870. Um, wow. And they started off making bicycles, several examples of which you'll see lying around the museum. They graduated to putting engines into things, into motorcycles, and it was like this quadricycle here, which is from the year 1901. Wow. Um, they came as a tricycle, um, as you can see from the forks there, but yep. then this was the sort of super posh add-on for the, for the quadricycle. So this is like the world's first quad bike? Probably, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And so uh, Ariel carried on making motorcycles through the ages. The yep. square four here was one of the most famous aerials okay. um, to be made. They started life as a 500cc, ended up as a 1000. This wow. is a, quite an early one, a 600cc version. Yep. Ariel was very, um, was very popular with off-road competition as well. Right. So the there. Okay. Um, a lot of the manufacturers focused on tarmac racing, uh, but Ariel was very much an off-road bike manufacturer. Wow, so how old is this one, sorry? That is a 1957. That's amazing. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, Ariel is a bit like a potted history of the, um, of the British motoring industry, where they didn't really reinvest, they didn't take the Japanese seriously when they came over, and by the 1960s, really, Ariel was dead. Um, it was bought by BSA, um, and that was the end of it, until right. we came along. So um, my father Simon had been working on this car you see here, which is the original prototype of what was to become the Atom. Wow. The lightweight sports car. Uh-huh. Um, that was in 1996. Okay. Um, and then in 1999, we bought the Ariel name and uh, moved into producing what is now the Ariel Atom. Um, so we've had a model version one, version two, version three, version three and a half. And now we're on the Atom 4, as you've seen, um, and we can see a bit more in a moment. Awesome. We also manufacture the, the motorcycles, the Aerial Ace, and the Aerial Nomad off-road car as well. Wow, okay, that's really interesting. And what are these cars along here? This is our museum, so actually the, the, the one with the gold frame at the back, as you can see there, um, was a limited edition Atom V8. Wow. We made 25 of those cars, 500 oh. horsepower, um, V8. That must be astonishing. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they were a serious performer and they were, um, they sat us at the top of the Top Gear power lap board for two years. Really? So Amazing. It was, um, it, was a, it was a fantastic car. Yeah. Uh, this car here is an Ariatum 3.5R, so that is really the last of the, of the old generation of cars, a 2014 model before we changed over to the Atom 4. Right. And the bike? That's right, yeah, that's our prototype there from our Aerial Ace um, with our uh, unique girder fork front suspension. Um, British motorcycles and aerials in particular were very famous for a girder fork style suspension. Uh -huh. And we wanted to make something, um, a girder fork out of modern materials effectively. Right. Using the Olin's, um, the Olin's damper. It's very similar to a car wishbone. Okay. But that's uh, a 1200cc Honda V4 engine in that, so 170 horsepower, so it's got plenty of, um, plenty of poke and also a nice bit of style as well. Absolutely, that's really, really cool. It looks like it's out of the future. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. So that's the past. We're now going to go and have a look at the future, or at least the present, and see what's in build at the moment. So this is where all the cars are built. Um, each guy builds one car from start to finish um, and then puts his, his plate on it in the end. So you can see we've got seven build bays for new cars, one build bay for the motorcycles over the back there. Um, the, the cars come to us as a bare frame. So um, obviously this one's got a few bits and pieces on, but it starts life as a bare chassis. Right. And then we assemble it, um, we assemble it from there. It takes around about 100, between 150 and 200 hours to build each car okay. from scratch when they're all built to the customer's individual specification. Right, and how many do you build a year? It's about 100 cars per year. Uh -huh. um, we, we've got around about a two and a half year waiting list at the moment, so we've got quite a lot of back orders. Yeah. Um, so we don't build any cars for stock. 
um, is purely just to the customer's specification. So wow. the customer chooses from a list, an extensive list of options, depending on whether they're going to use the car for road or track use. Um, and then obviously all the colours and everything, as you can see, various different colours and um, panel colours here. Okay, that's fantastic. Mm. And have you got a finished car you can show us? Yeah, by all means, this one here. Ah, wow, that looks proper stealthy, doesn't it? Yeah. So this car is um, this car has got our optional windscreen fitted as well. So okay. if people want to drive them without the helmet, um, really that's the only way of doing it. Because it's otherwise it's it's quite susceptible to debris yeah. and being picked up from the road. This one's got some quite nice fits on some carbon fiber body panels as well. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, this is our standard finish on the chassis. So it's a satin satin black. Nice choice of the different options here there's the white silver titanium yep. yeah fantastic so there you go very brief look around but very interesting i think and uh hope you enjoyed that and we'll look forward to catching you on road holiday again very soon take care bye bye